Section 1 Let us look each other in the face. We are Hyperboreans. We know well enough how remote our place is. Neither by land nor by water will you find the road to the Hyperboreans. Even Pindar in his day knew that much about us. Footnote. Confer the Tenth Pythian Ode. See also the Fourth Book of Herodotus. The Hyperboreans were a mythical people beyond the Ripaean Mountains, in the far north. They enjoyed unbroken happiness and perpetual youth. End footnote. Beyond the north, beyond the ice, beyond death, our life, our happiness. We have discovered that happiness, we know the way. We got our knowledge of it from thousands of years in the labyrinth. Who else has found it? The man of today? I don't know either the way out or the way in. I am whatever doesn't know either the way out or the way in, so sighs the man of today. This is the sort of modernity that made us ill. We sickened on lazy peace, cowardly compromise, the whole virtuous dirtiness of the modern yea and nay. This tolerance and largeur of the heart that forgives everything because it understands everything is a sirocco to us. Rather live amid the ice than among modern virtues and other such south winds. We were brave enough. We spared neither ourselves nor others. But we were a long time finding out where to direct our courage. We grew dismal. They called us fatalists. Our fate. It was the fullness, the tension, the storing up of powers. We thirsted for the lightnings and great deeds. We kept as far as possible from the happiness of the weakling, from resignation. There was thunder in our air. Nature, as we embodied it, became overcast, for we had not yet found the way. The formula of our happiness, a yea, a nay, a straight line, a goal, 